Hello there mates, Mushi Gamer here, and this, uh, thank you for checking into the next episode of Shadowrun Hong Kong Extended Edition. So, we are going back to our bed to get some well-deserved rest because we have been, uh, you know, running around like crazy. Where are you going, me? Ah, oh, there you are. Safe boat. Everybody should already be back here. Oh, and yeah, they are. The scene of the Kraken is quiet, save for the sounds of eating. The crew is crowded around Gobbit's electric hot plate. Her cast iron pot simmers on top and they hold bowls of soup in their hands. You recognize the smell. Chicken style soya broth, elbow macaroni, tin ham, and a heaping scoop of egg flavored micro -pro micro protein. The mood is somber. I thought I said no team meetings without me. You're eating? I thought you were going to bed. We figured we'd hang out a while. No one could remember the last time we ate. She looks over her bowl of Dunkin'. Besides, no one could sleep anyway. She means me. I'm too fucked up to sleep. Trying not to think about Raymond. Who takes an enormous gulp of soup, wipes his mouth with the back of his hand. They're just keeping me company, feeding me, pretending not to be tired, talking a bit. Yeah, I'm still jacked up. Bet can wait. What are you talking about? Sure you're not afraid of going to sleep and having another nightmare? Uh... Okay, what are you talking about? Yeah, sure. Isabel fish, fishes a chunk of something out of her suit where her fingers flicks it to the floor. We've been debriefing a bit. Yeah, talking about all that's gone on, everything we've been through together. She shuffles her feet a bit. Sorry about Raymond, Seattle. You too, Duncan. He was trying to do good with that machine. You too need to remember that. Wu drops his head. His words come out slowly, as if they were being forcefully extracted. I can't believe he did that. Gave himself to that demon. I think he did what he came to do. It was justice. He's caused a lot of harm. I wish he was here with us now. Uh, I, I do think he did what he came to do, but I do wish that he was still here. Uh, I'm gonna say that. I guess we did too, Mushi. We came to help Raymond, and he got what he wanted. Isabel stares over her bowl at the wall of the tra trawler. Her voice is soft. Hard to believe we defeated a god. Demon God, Gobbit stirs her suit with her finger from another plane of existence. Hearts believe that Josephine Sane is going to remain untarnished by this whole thing. The little Decker's face hardens. 20 years of misery, 20 years of suffering, for tens of thousands, hundreds maybe. That's the way it is, the way the world works. The powerful play their games and the little people pay the price. She'll see justice someday. She has to. Who stares into his suit, squinting in concentration. But one thing doesn't add up for me. I wasn't Josephine saying. Why was Josephine saying so intent on shutting us down? Why wouldn't she be? You saw what she was responsible for. No, think about it. The HKPF snipers, the plastic face man, all of the resources that she poured into capturing Raven and hunting us down. I mean, she already covered her tracks to that illegal drug lab explosion, right? So why not just let Ray do his thing and then cover it up afterward? It doesn't add up. You couldn't let anyone see prosperity. It had to be the fortune engine itself. I don't care. It's over. We're done cleaning our rings mess. Yeah, I think you're right. From everything Raymond said, the key was supposed to be pulling, turning toxic. But it felt so I felt something in that room. A flow of positive key that I didn't expect. Goblet wrinkles her nose. She stares at the floor of the trawler for several seconds, apparently lost in thought. I think that it was leaving the walled city. I bet that machine did something else. Something that Raymond didn't know about. Little Decker stirs her soup, pondering. What if it was a siphon? What if Josephine Sang was stealing the cast off positive key from the walled city, leeching it for her own benefit? Wu nods at Isabel, runs with her train of thought. She stood up the fortune engine, leached a good key for herself, and took same mechanical services from the minor company Ray's father built to the ball buster it is today. His jaw tightens. That's how she's got herself on the executive council of Hong Kong. Of course, this is all speculation. Can't prove any of it. But if Josephine was using positive key that the portion engine was casting off, she isn't getting it anymore. Your foster father saw to that. Gobbit taps her spoon against the rim of her bowl. I wonder what would happen to her. Guess we'll have to wait and see. Gobbit finishes her soup, lets, lets out a little belch, and pats her stomach, satisfied. She tosses the bowl in the corner of for, of for madness and folly. So, Seattle, what now? Now bed. Wanna wa maybe watch the trend? Anything on? I'm gonna walk around a bit, stretch my legs. Should I offer? There's always something on. 
But I said be bagging and get some sleep. Especially you, Mushi. He winks at you. You look like shit. Why does everybody tell me that? <laughs> oh, uh, catch up with Gaichu, catch up with Ractor, catch up with Duncan. What? Not Isabel or... Uh, okay, so that's everybody. Um, I'll tell you what, why don't we just go ahead and catch up with everyone and then we can go to bed. Let's talk to Easy. She's always my first person I talk to. Isabel looks up at you, a troubled expression on her face. If she found any peace from your victory in the Wild City, she isn't showing it. Well, we did it. Queen Yaw's gone, and we never have to set foot in the Wild City again. She tries on a smile. It falls away a moment later. I guess I don't need these memories anymore. You haven't needed them since we got back, so I haven't even deleted them yet. You're right, you know, so go ahead and delete them. All they're doing now is hurting you. I'll ask. I don't know. I want to, but something's holding me back. It doesn't feel right somehow, and I don't know why. Look, is if you delete those memories, you'll be doing to yourself what Josephine Sang was trying to do to Raven. You're just fine before you had these memories story. You've been suffering ever since. Just get rid of them. You'll be happier that way. I have to go to the first. She says nothing, just stares. A moment later, she nods. Yeah, that's what I'd be doing. Changing my past through omission and rewriting my present by doing it. I think that is a form of self-mutilation, kinda. It makes me feel uneasy. So what do you want to do? Now ultimately your memories, Isabel. Do what you want with them. You have no one to answer to but yourself. I'll ask the first. I don't know. I'm thinking maybe I'll sleep on it. I think that's a good call. It's been a big day. Yeah, a bit. You can probably use the rest too. She offers you a small smile. Good night, MS. And rest well. You've earned it. Alright, so caught up with Isabel. Let's talk to Gobbit. My girl. As you enter Gobbit's cabin, you find her sipping from an enormous mug. Something dark and steamy sloshes as she lowers the vessel. Her rats squeak happily from their perches on their shoulders. That was a hell of a thing, wasn't it? We fought a Yama King and we won. I said it is time for celebration. Got anything to drink around here? Given the choice, I had to say far, far away from demon gods from this point on. Yeah, and the woman who brought that Yama King here in the first place isn't going to serve a day in prison for it. I'll say the first. Sure do, but do you think I'm breaking it out tonight? You're crazy. I'm exhausted, Seattle. I don't think that I can keep my eyes open for much longer. If we're going to celebrate our victory in style, I don't want to pass out at the 10 minute mark. You must be tired too, to be frank. I don't even know how you're still standing. Sheer force to real endurance is one of my many virtues. <laughs> She smirks at you, yeah, sure it is. Go endure in your cabin, then we mere mortals need to sleep. I'll see you tomorrow, though, right? I mean, you're not going anywhere. It's phrased as a statement, firm and final. Maybe, you never can tell. I'm all beat the hell, Gobbit, right now. I don't think I can leave. I wanted to. Yeah, Gobbit, I'll see you then. Yeah, good, right, good. I'll see you then, then. She hesitates for a moment, then the corner of her mouth tips up to that old community smirk. Oh, in Seattle? Yeah? Sweet dreams. Ah, uh, Goblet's worried that you're gonna leave. Oh. Honestly, even though there's no reasons for me to be here anymore, I don't want to leave them because they're like, they're my pals now. You enter Wu's cabin to the sound of his neck cracking at a horrifying value and you catch his eye and he nods then begins his standard stretching regimen. I wish there was a stuffer shack in this damn country. I need some nerps or bromo fizz or something. He rubs his stomach and lets out a burp. That gobbit stew is heinous. Yeah, I stay away from that. Did she offer you an oyster? I think we should talk, Duncan, about Raymond. It's nasty, no doubt. Just came in to say goodnight. I actually kind of like it. The macaroni makes it feel like home. Nah, we're not that tight. I mean, I don't visit her bunk all the time like you do. He pulls his right elbow back behind his head, stretching his triceps. They're a good crew. Aren't they? Yeah, they really get got the job done. Being a demon queen? Yeah, I'd say so. Wu switches elbows, exhales slowly, exhales slowly as he pulls. Long goddamn day. Feels good to stretch. Yeah, I bet. You doing okay? You just you're just gonna avoid talking to Raymond about what he did. You're just gonna pretend like that didn't happen. I'll just ask. Wu shrugs, turns back, and begins stretching his legs. Yeah, sure. I took a few hits, but I'll be okay. Come on, we Raven's dead, we have to acknowledge it. That's it? We just saw Raven sacrifice himself to the demon queen. Okay, fine, I'm out of here. Uh, sorry, buddy. Wu spins his torso around, glares at you red eye. He's not 
dead. Mushi, didn't you hear her? She's gonna feast on him, torture him. He's worse than dead. Way, way worse. He left us. Now he's gonna be tortured for a thousand years or some such shit. And he was tortured since the day we met him. Remember her? Remember her? <laughs> when you realized that he'd been carrying this, this around the whole time? He was my father, Duncan. I need to forgive him and move on. I feel like you do. Betrayed. Wrong. Raven paid for his mistakes, no question about it. So that, what's this about? That he loved? I'm gonna say the first. Yeah. Yeah, I remember. Boop flops down on his bed. I guess he started paying years ago before we ever knew him. And now he's still paying. Maybe even after we're in the ground, he'll still be paying. I was wrong about Raymond Mushi. Really wrong. He looks up at you again. His face drained of anger, drained of frustration. Ray was no coward. I could never have done what he did. Not in a million years. I just don't know how I'll ever be able to forget that. How I'll ever be able to move on. You suck it up. Life's a shit sandwich, son. And the more bread you have, the less shit you have to eat. <laughs> You just have to put one foot in front of the other. Eventually, you'll be moving on. You don't forget it. Remember his sacrifice and you try and live up to his example. Yeah, we'll see. I haven't decided how much I want to emulate Raymond Black yet. Boo strips off his armor and tosses it into the corner. Time for bed, Miss S. I think you both deserve a good night's sleep. Get out of here. I'll see you in the morning. At least, Rector in Gaichu. I'm not sure. I don't visit them that often, so I don't know if our conversations will be as fond. Ractor eyes you impassively. He wears an easy smile, but his eyes are as cold and unfeeling as Koshe sensors. Well, my friend, quite an evening. He takes a drag of his cigarette. Quite an evening indeed. That said, I am quite tired. And after a brief rest, I should get back to my work. Koshe is bound to be in need of repairs. After all, he turns his back on you. Do me a favor and see yourself out, won't you? That's it? That's all you have to say? What more is there to say? We have done good work together. Yes, but we are working now, and when I stand in this shop, my time is my own. The industrial arms that hang from the ceiling spring to life, filling the air with the sound of wearing machinery. Again, I bid you good night. My work for the evening has only just begun. Raptor always has been an odd one. And now, got you. Sitting in the dark, like he always do. Gaishu is in the process of cleaning his cabin as you enter. Us using a small hammer, he sweeps dust and debris around into small piles. Since your arrival, however, he pauses. You realize that... Do you realize that should we ever try to tell the story of what has happened here tonight, no one will believe us? Yes? Then again, they may not believe you anyway. You took in a ghoul, gave him a room in your home, and then left him to his own devices. I don't care what people think. I just did what I had to. I never want to go through anything like that again. I'll do this first. Yes. Yes, you did. Gaichu cradles his chin one hand. Push your man to the edge, and then you will see what he is truly capable of. I confess, I am confused as to why you invited me into your home, yet never came to speak to me, at least in any meaningful fashion. Do not mistake me. I am grateful for all that you have given me, but I suspect most people would have been more concerned by a ghoul in their hold. I guess I always had other things in my mind. I wanted to respect your privacy. Ah, well, take this as a request to speak with me more in the future, then. I would very much like to get to know you. It has been a long time since I have had a friend. For now, however, I will need to keep cleaning this cabin or, or I will need to learn to live in filth. See you later, Gaichu. Okay, so depending on how much you talk to them, that's how the final statement goes. And since I never really came and talked to Gaichu, I never, he doesn't really have much to talk about. And Ragnar is probably the same, which is why his conversation was so impassive. That sucks, because if I had known that Ragnar could have been a part of your team from the beginning, I would have been more than happy to talk to him. Your bulk on a trailer lies waiting, patient and seductive, it beckons with the promise of escape. Go to sleep and end the campaign. You drop your head into the pillow and haul the rough navel blanket over you. The cracking rocks like a cradle and moments later you are wrapped in the comforting arms of sleep. There are no nightmares, only shadows. The story of the Walt City riot circulates local news networks for nearly a week. Few outside of Hong Kong care about the incident and of those that do, even fewer care. By the end of the month, the city is back to business as usual. In Healy, the flow of refugees eventually slows to a trickle. 
Those who do escape tell stories of a terrifying demon goddess that came to the walled city, claimed the host of slaves, and then mysteriously departed again, dragging her servants to hell behind her. Their mad ramblings are generally met with pity or contempt. After the incident in the Wall City, the lucky streak that propelled Sane mechanical services into the limelight slowly comes to an end. While CEO Josephine Sane remains a beloved public figure, her influence begins to wane, and she is eventually removed from the executive council. Within three years of the Wall City riot, Sane mechanical service loses its triple A status. From this point on, it is widely considered to be a B-grade corporation. POE remains a safe port of all call for smugglers, gangsters, and shadowrunners alike. You are no exception. The shadows here welcome you in a way that Seattle never did. You've earned the respect of your fixer, your clients, and your community. Now that the APB on you and your team has been lifted by parties unknown, you are free to operate openly in Hong Kong. The place is yours now, your home. Awesome. So we have finally, after 70 episodes, reached the end of Shadowrun Hong Kong. And my oh my, it has been a very long time. But one thing I didn't want to mention was that I think I know who lifted the APB. And so if you remember that guy that I didn't kill, so this is just speculation. This of course could change in the extended, uh, actual extended version of the game. But I didn't kill him, so he may have done it because he seemed like he had a high position of power. And uh, that might have been what happened. But like I said, I will play the extended edition. <laughs> Maybe not right now, though, because I we we just we we just here for seventy episodes. I I can't do it. <laughs> I mean, I can, but I do want to at least move on to other indie games. Excuse me, and give them a try first, and then come back to Shadowrun after that because I do want to get to the extended story and spend more time with these amazing characters because I really came to the point where I felt like that they were you know kind of like actually my friends but I do hate that I didn't get to talk to Raktor or Gaichu as much obviously Raktor was really cold because I never talked to him and so was Gaichu but uh well Gaichu wasn't cold Gaichu was just like Hey man, why don't you talk to me more? Like seriously, come on, be my friend. But uh, yeah, that was a really fun game. And even though it was a strategy game, I had a good time with it. I will say, towards the end, it actually did bump the difficulty back up to normal. So towards the end there, I was playing at a normal difficulty and it wasn't as hard as it was before. So maybe that's because by the time I got to the end, I had become a much more proficient at shadow running. But who knows? This was a really fun game. And I don't, I, like I said, I typically don't like uh, strategy games. But this has, this is the first strategy game that I've played, uh, like actually sat down and played through. And it was, it was, this wasn't, Cause, okay, when I thought of strategy games before, I would think of all of those games where you have to like, you know, build your little fortress and then have like some tanks and some soldiers and all that. And I always found that to be so boring. But this, you know, style where you have to like move your character to certain spaces, uh, like where your character is actually matter, how you do things actually matters, and it's not just. Uh, where you want to put your troops at, uh, all of that. So, I will say I enjoyed this much more. There are a lot of people. I mean, as big as Shadowrun is, I'm not, I'm not super surprised at this, but just like realizing the full scope of people that worked on Shadowrun is pretty awesome. Cute little rabbit. That's an awesome handle name. I just, I, I'm kind of reeling that I actually got to the end of this game. I'm kind of sitting here thinking, huh, uh, tomorrow when I record my session of Games Shadowrun will not be on that list. 
That's just, this feels like an aspect of life now. Gotta record Shadowrun, gotta record, uh, you know, some other game, and then uh, uh, rinse, wash, and repeat the next day. Uh, finally to the end of Shadowrun. But I think Shadowrun has different endings depending on like what you do. And uh, as you, if you watch my Galcow playthrough, I got really, uh, I wasn't pissed off. I was not happy with the ending that I got. And in this, in Shadowrun, I will say that I was happy with the ending that I got, which I am happy about because I have spent much more time in Shadowrun than I did with Galcow. Like, I don't even, let me look at my, see, check out my hours while it's uh, doing that. I spent 37 hours in Shadowrun. And I, I think I spent like eight hours in Gaokao or seven hours or something like that, which I was surprised at because it doesn't seem like that long of a game. It, it doesn't seem like it would be that long of a game until you actually sit down and go through it. Or maybe it wasn't even that. Maybe it was four hours or five hours. Now I don't remember and I can't check because I don't have it in my steam inventory anymore or if I, this is this is the battle theme isn't it I feel like it is my goodness there are a lot of people that work on this game. And I haven't even been paying attention to the sections. You know, like when you look at the credits of the game, you can, or a game or a movie, you can usually tell like when it gets to the certain parts and when it's about to get close to ending. I don't see that here. Oh, I haven't paying attention, so I don't, I don't see. I don't know where it's at here. Oh, hey, I didn't even. Oh, I noticed it had words, but I just kind of kept glancing over it. A Hairbrain Schemes production. Hairbrain Schemes is a small team of passionate game developers led by Jordan Wellsman, the creator of Shadowrun, Crimson Skies, Battletech, uh, Mech Warrior, and many other acclaimed properties. Founded in 2011, the Seattle based group is centered around collaboration between seasoned veterans and fresh talent. Oh, so you know what? That makes sense as to why everyone was, was uh, well, not everyone, but the, the two main characters. Uh, were from Seattle. That's really awesome that they incorporated that into their game. And even the nickname for your person, oh not, the nickname that Gaba gave you was Seattle. I would have to say, Gaba is probably still my favorite character from this game. And Isabel would be second, and then Duncan would be third. And, and then Gaishu, and then Raktor, alas. Wait, no, uh, I even forgot to put in Kylie Chain. I will put Kylie Chain, honestly, I will have to put Kylie Chain before Duncan, because I really, I really do like her character. And I'm not saying that Duncan's character is bad. I just like Gobbit, Isabel, and Kylie Chain more than I do Duncan. Duncan is okay. He's kind of like, you know, that emotional younger sibling that you have that always seems to get upset about the tiniest little things. Although granted, the things he got upset about wasn't tiny, but he got like upset to like such an extreme magnitude that it was, it kind of reminded me of that in a way. And not that that's bad, but it's, you know, it's certainly not endearing. Chaotic core. Oh wait, I, I thought maybe that was like supposed to be representative of a group or something, but I'm not sure. Oh man, look how big this like this development team was. Which makes sense because Shadowrun like, is a really huge game. Can you imagine sitting there and like going through that story? 
and like typing it out thinking of like okay if this happens and this happens and if this happens and then this happens and all of that like leads to different endings so that in itself is is that's a big job and so i can i can see why shadowrun has like a ton of people and then they you know they added on the extended edition which according to steam i want to say it's supposed to be five to six more hours of content like this was 38 hours of content for me so you just threw on six more ah, you're already going to the fort <laughs> hurry up already no coffee for is that is that an actual handle name that's pretty good cool. not at all if i've got a choice all right wait were there like sentences hidden in the comments oh no no i feel like i'm missing out I'm, or are those actual like handle names? Hammerma. Hammerma. I don't know how you pronounce that. I wouldn't like to be listed in the credits. <laughs> that's his name. I wouldn't like to be listed in the credits. Well, that's too bad. You're listed in the credits. But while I'm here at the end, for anybody who came to and what came here and started at episode one, episode seventy, you have great dedication. And Sean and McMahon, but <laughs> you have great dedication. And I. Thank you from the bottom of my heart for sticking with this uh, playthrough as long as you did. Because one thing that I like about this playthrough is that it kind of goes through how much better quality my videos have gotten and how much I've gotten better at doing this uh, YouTube thing. <laughs> because a lot of my first videos, they're, they're a bit on the rough side. But another thing, even if, you, if you're just here, if you were like, 70 videos is way too freaking long, I just want to see what happens at the end, then like, that's awesome too. Because uh, you took the time out to look at my video and that's really, that's really great. And I really do appreciate that. Oh boy. Um, okay, so, this may be mean of me, but I think this goes on for a while, and it's already been, what, 10 minutes of credits, so I'm just gonna, just gonna, you know, kind of speed through it. So everybody who's worked on this game, whose names are just kind of getting sped through right now, I really did enjoy this game, and thank you so much for making it, but uh, there, there, there's so many people. There's so many names. I just It's already it's already been ten minutes. I'm I'm just kidding, I don't know what time this started at. Goodness gracious. I feel like I'm watching a movie credit. <laughs> Yay, wait. Did it start? Did it loop? Oh my god, has this been looping? I don't know what's happening anymore. Oh my god, I think this has been looping. I feel great shame. Okay. Alright. I'm sorry about that. I didn't realize it was looping. So embarrassed. Okay, that, that is Shadowrun. Um. Uh, but not the extended edition. I will be coming back to the extended edition. Uh, so if you guys like like the game, like the video, comment, subscribe, like below. Uh, please support me on Patreon. That would be so much to me if you did. And Mushi Gamer signing out.